Hello everyone. If you're looking for a beginner's guide to CSS typography and uh, the various properties and values you have at your disposal, you found the right video. Let's just speed through the most important properties that you need to know. So I'm going to add styles to our heading level one and our paragraph. First and foremost is font family. This is controlling the actual font that we're using. So if I say Georgia, we see it's Georgia. If I say Tahoma, we see that it's Tahoma. Next up, font size. So let's say 50 pixels. Just a quick note, instead of pixels, I could also use percentages, 200%. I could also use the EM, so 3 EM. Pixels, percentages, and EMs all have their own different scales. So you'll have to have a, um, a bit of trial and error. Um, if you're just starting out, pixels are the easiest. However, pixels don't scale very well in some browsers, so just experiment. You'll, you'll find uh, your own preference. Next up, font weight. Um, this controls uh, basically the boldness. So if we say normal, we'll see that the font is no longer bold. And if we specify bold, it will always be bold. Next up, font style. This is mainly used uh, for italics. It's that simple. Next up is letter spacing. So if we say three pixels, we see there is now spacing in between every letter. And as you might expect, there is also word spacing. So we can control the spacing between each word. Let's see, there is also text shadow. Now, in a separate video, I cover the syntax of, uh, of, t of text shadows. So if you're interested, please check out that video. But just to recap, essentially the first value controls the horizontal offset of the shadow. This value controls the vertical offset of the shadow. This value controls the blur of the shadow. And this is where you um, include your hexadecimal color value. Next property, text decoration. Now, a quick note on this one. This controls if the element is underlined or not, but you really do not want to underline anything on a web page that isn't a hyperlink. However, just for the purpose of this video, you should um, be aware of this property. So let's say there was a link on your page and you didn't want it to be underlined. You would select um, the link with your CSS selector and then you could say text decoration none. Moving on, there is also text transform. So with this, we can control the text to be all uppercase, or we can specify all lowercase. So that's a neat trick to have up your sleeve. Um, let's go ahead and add a few styles to our paragraph. We'll begin with line height. So you can see that line height is very aptly named. It controls the height of your lines, uh, the spacing in between each row of text. So if we bump this up to something outrageous, like 3EM, we see that there's a lot of spacing in between each line of text. So let's put this back down to something <laughs> reasonable and move on. Next value is text indent 50 pixels. So you can see that text indent uh, indents the first line of your paragraph almost as if you were in a word processing program or if you were handwriting. Next property, text align, right? So we can see that the text is now aligned to the right. This would be as if you were in Microsoft Word and you could choose between the three or four icons that align your text to the left, center, right, or justify it. So we can even use a value of justify. And we see that there's now a clean line of text uh, aligning flush to the right. And that will conclude this video. Uh, this may not be every CSS typography property under the sun, but trust me, uh, with just these properties you've learned in this video, you can do a lot. You're well on your way to mastering CSS. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in a future video. Bye.